We've got good news. We sold the waste goods. <laughs> he's well, it's good news, it's a bit sad, but it's good news because we were very stressed having two boats and we can finally move on and focus on Seabird because we've been doing many little jobs here in waste goods before we sold it. We've had a stressful morning getting ready to hand over the boat. Uh, I don't know, it's been pretty chill for me. Yes, yeah, to her now sounds very chill, but we've been very stressed. Not very stressed, I've been in more stressful situations. Okay. Just, uh... I don't deal well with stress. But look, the boat is so empty. Everything is empty. We've been cleaning the boat. Feels so weird. We just need to empty the fridge now. Hopefully Uncle Ben and Roxanne enjoy their boat and take it for a lot of adventures. <laughs> so yeah, he's going back in the water today. And we have officially moved into Seabird. We've got the door closed. Oh. <laughs> because We've got our motivation machine on. Ha. Air conditioning. <laughs> we have realized it's too hot right now to work inside unless you've got some type of air conditioning. So we got this little guy for I think it was 99 euros on the internet. And oh, it's so cool. So we've moved everything in here, but we've got to unpack got loads of teen food. And that's the bedroom that is ready to go. We're going to be able to sleep together finally. <laughs> At the moment we were just sleeping one in his sofa because in ways because the, the beaverth is too small for two people and we're looking forward to sleep here tonight. It's the first night here. It's a nice bed. I need to find beds because I've been trying to but so big that you can't find on this size. We've got our clothes here. This is so exciting. You might think I'm crazy, but we've been dreaming with a hanging locker for ages. Yeah. So that's it. This is our new home. There she goes. And those are the new happy owners. <laughs> I see it in the water again. And she works like a charm. That's it. Ooh. This is our new home, a building site. Oh. Are you tired? <laughs> yeah, it was one of those busy weeks. It's so stressful having two boats. 
and prepare one of them. Oh, I got a bit sunburned. And prepare one of them to just to sell it. Yeah, yeah, Ben wanted to go on holiday soon, so yeah. we have to crack on and. And they got a cancellation on the lift, so there was a slot. So it was literally, yeah, we got a week. Sorry about the noise, but we need we need the air conditioning on. It's too hot. But yeah, have a look. Right now, it's like just bags and piles of stuff. We can't cook, so we need to get something to cook on. We don't have water, so we'll have to figure something out. But well, we've got those jerry cans. It's literally gonna be like living on a building site for a while. Oh, I slept so well. This is the best bed ever. I didn't even notice the store was next to me. So much space. Still is having a coffee. As soon as you leave this room, you realize the boat is a bit of a mess. <laughs> yeah, first jobs are getting the stringers yeah, the sorted stringers. Yeah. on the floor and take the tanks out and take that old girl out. Anyway, breakfast time. So I always go to Seoul yesterday, yesterday, day before yesterday. Took your stay off just to, I suppose, to decompress. It's take five. But uh, yeah, today we've got a plot on. So it's a case of organising tools, put them in the V berth, make some sort of order to that. Fridge is turning up this morning. So there's a few, few bits to crack on with, and I've got to start with the engine. We're slowly moving in. Marina's doing the usual thing of sleeping as much as possible, avoiding her chores. But he didn't need that for me. So it's just a case of moving this into the V berth um, and making some sort of area. So we can hopefully fit the fridge there. It's been a few days without um, food. Two days without food. It's not that bad. But we don't have a cooker. So we need to. Order up a cooker as well. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let me crack on. So it was a pretty quick job. Alright, that's empty. It's not the best little area, but uh, that'll be alright. Um, our main concern is that and the engine. So, you know, one bite at a time, as Mum says. Just had the call we've been waiting for, the delivery guy. Second hand but new. It was on its side, so we'll let it once it's up start upstairs we'll let it settle. Yeah, she looks alright. Uh it's all not plastic on. Yeah, it must. Oh. There she is. I just got up, I'm still quite sleepy, but went downstairs. Ready, uh, three hours after Stu gets up. This stairs has been active, yeah. Look at that! Oh, I'm so excited. Our first fridge together, my love. Whoa, our first proper fridge. It's so pretty. Got my money. Where's my money? I oh, know, it's stuck. Still got the labels and everything. So it's second hand, but it's not. New second hand. New second hand. Look at that, we're gonna have ice cream in there. <laughs> have my Mr. Freezy Pops for 5p lollies. Nice cream in here. Yeah. Good job, Stu. He's uh, the master of finding good stuff in Le Bon Coin. Well, we could have got something cheaper if we picked it up and it was proper second hand. But... Le Bon Coin is the second hand website in France, the most like the famous. Well, it's my favourite game. Yeah, it's Stuart's favourite game. Don't know if it's a good idea. I play that game all the time. But <laughs> Yeah, we found a few cheaper, as Stuart is saying. We found a few that were... Oh, nice, no time. That were a bit cheaper, but they were proper, like, used secondhand. And we thought this was good. Now the question is... How is Dad 
gonna go up there. How do you wanna do this? I don't know. Oh. Okay, so. Can you push the bottom with your right hand now? Yep. Okay. Push, 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 push. Okay, this one. Stuart just came back from the shop. Oh, you got beers. <laughs> and we're about to put the food in the fridge. It's exciting. It's exciting. So exciting. Nice. Nice. <laughs> How do the little beers fit in here? Perfectly. Party tonight! <laughs> Hopefully you can hear me, it's very windy outside so there's a lot of noise. Uh, this was a short video but we were pretty busy at that time getting the boat ready to be sold and getting the boat ready to move in so we didn't record too much, sorry. <laughs> but next week it gets really interesting with the engine, you will see. Thank you again to everyone who is watching. We are overwhelmed with all the comments and all the views. It's pretty incredible that so many people want to watch what we're up to. So thank you and see you next week. <laughs>